Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome to fall. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my fall designer fragrances that I'm super excited to wear. Some of them are new, some of them are repurchases, some of them I need to wear. So we're gonna talk about all of these fragrances and I have a lot. So I'm gonna try to speed through as best as I can, child, cause y'all know I get the yapping. But I'm going to try to speed through so we can get through all of these fragrances. And if by chance you guys don't see a fragrance on this list, don't say, oh, I'm surprised such and such ain't on the list. Because it doesn't mean I'm not excited to wear it. It just means I'm going to reserve that fragrance for another video. Okay? So, if you want to see the fall designer fragrances that I'm excited to wear, then please continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video, thumbs it up so YouTube knows you love my content, leave me a comment down below so we can get to know each other, and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Okay, y'all, so jumping right in, we're just gonna go in with a fragrance that I have been speaking about a lot lately, and that's because I love it, okay? I am utterly obsessed with Whisper. Whisper is the one that won't let go of my neck. She will not let go of my neck. Like, what is wrong with you? Let me go. Y'all, oh my goodness. This fragrance is juicy. It's a little creamy. It's bright. It's sweet. It has depth. OMG. I'm in love with this. It's a little powdery, but not like... It's just like a dusting, like just a veil of powder. Not super powdery. It is gorgeous, okay? This fragrance has plum, rose, there's lychee, there's oud. It is a masterpiece for me, guys. It is feminine, it is pretty, it is classy, it is sophisticated, and it's perfect for those fall days when I personally want to wear something super feminine, super pretty, still has depth, but not feeling too spicy, not feeling or smelling too gourmand, not smelling too woody. Because the cold season is super long here where I live, I like to have a variety of different types of fragrances. I don't only just want to smell one way. Fall fragrances are typically super thick, super dense, very gourmand, very spicy. But for me, I'm going to need a little bit of variety. And this fragrance can be a signature scent. It can be worn all year round. Thank God, because I love it so much. Like it just, it almost smells a little bit like grape soda-ish. Y'all, it just smells so good, okay? I have a 10% discount on this. You can save 10% with my code Aisha10 on So Avant Garde. It is amazing. Whisper by Tumi. Okay, guys, so the next fragrance is featuring the note of coffee. And if you guys know me, you already know that me and coffee, I do love coffee in my fragrances, but it has to be done in a particular way. It can't be too strong. It can't be too realistic. I just want that fake <laughs> synthetic, just a little hint of a coffee. I don't want to smell like true strong coffee. Okay. This fragrance right here is perfect coffee for me and it's by Replica and it's coffee break. This is a light and airy, fresh coffee scent. And for me, it is perfection. It has a hint of sweetness. It's not really sweet, but it definitely has a fresh, airy, light coffee scent. And I love it. In this fragrance, we have pink pepper. There's orange blossom, patchouli, lavender, coffee, milk, tonka bean. And although there's milk, I'm not getting anything very lactonic. I'm not getting anything super dense and creamy. There's a uh, cypriol, which smells like oud. I'm not getting anything that smells too woody. It just smells like an orange blossom, very light and airy, slightly creamy, very beautiful coffee scent. I love this. If you're somebody that likes strong coffee scents, this might not be enough coffee for you, sis. I'm sorry, it's not gonna be enough for you. <laughs> but for me, somebody who likes very, very little coffee. I want to smell the coffee, but I don't want to smell it too intense. This is perfect. Coffee Break by Replica. Next up, we have my second bottle of Dolce Gabbana, the only one. The original only one. I also had the only one intense, but I decluttered that one, y'all. It was a cute scent, but it was just something about it that I wasn't gravitating to. I wasn't wearing it. But this, this love this this goes in and out of stock like this honestly plays with my emotions they have it in stock it's out of stock it's in stock i don't know what they got going on over there at dolce 
but I'm gonna need them to get it together because this right here is clearly a for life fragrance. This is my second bottle. Went through a whole bottle of this and I just wasn't content. It's not fall without the only one for me. This is a fragrance that I get complimented on. This is a fragrance that my man loves on me. This is a fragrance that I can layer with other fragrances. I can wear it on its own. It is just a beautiful fragrance. Let me tell y'all the notes. It opens up with violet. There's orange and bergamot. There's coffee pear. There's iris. There's orange blossom, rose, caramel, vanilla, and patchouli. The patchouli in this fragrance is nothing dirty. It's nothing earthy. This is a simple, beautiful, frou frou la la, girly girly gourmand, but not heavily gourmand, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't want to bite myself when I'm wearing this. If I'm doing a gourmand fragrance video, I probably would put this in there, but probably not. Like, I don't have to because this one doesn't smell like too edible. It doesn't smell overly gourmand, in my opinion, but it's just a beautiful, easy fragrance that you can wear on an easy light fall day you're not doing too much you're probably wearing a little sweater and you want to put this on to smell like fall vibes a little caramel a little coffee but nothing too overpowering i just love it it's so pretty to me and after this one maybe i'll be done with it we'll see but um i can't make any promises because i love this the only one by dolce gabbana if you want to smell like a strawberry milkshake or a strawberry pound cake, then Burberry Her Elixir needs to be on your to buy list, okay? This smells like a strawberry something, pie, milkshake, uh, cake it just smells like a strawberry dessert it is so good to me i have all the hers okay well i've had all the hers i've definitely finished two bottles of her but this is my favorite okay i can't lie to you it just has a little bit more chunkiness it's a little bit more thick it's a little bit more rich and i love that about it Burberry her elixir it's clear that ysl just wants you to have one of their fragrances in your life at some point you could say i'm done with the flankers and i'm done with ysl but they always manage to come out with a flanker that you're gonna need i decluttered black opium <laughs> because i've had like three or four maybe five bottles of those in my lifetime so the last one i had i was like you know what i'm not wearing it i just have it for the bottle and i just want every fragrance that's in my collection to be worn and then they have the nerve to come out with lay parfum i thought i was done but the Le Parfum came with her vanilla self. And when I tell you, she also has me in a chokehold. This fragrance is so gorgeous. Now, let me tell you, you kind of smell the original black opium DNA a little bit, like far, far beyond yonder. But when I tell you the vanillas in this fragrance is taking over, they took over the entire fragrance. And if you're a vanilla lover, you're going to be weak and you're going to be like, you know what? I'm going to need this black opium. I don't care what they say. Like, I'm going to just have black opium forever because literally I've had black opium in my collection forever and I cannot get rid of them because this right here, when this is done, I'm going to need another bottle of this because in the fall, this is a beautiful, cozy vanilla fragrance. This has cinnamon. This is, oh my goodness. It's like a spicy, sweet vanilla, but it's more spicy than sweet. And the bourbon vanilla in this fragrance is just gorgeous, okay? So please do not sleep on this fragrance. You're not gonna see her on a lot of the viral vanilla videos, but trust me, get your nose on this if you haven't already. And let's talk about it. Tell me what you think about it. Because for me, this is a beautiful spicy vanilla for the fall, Black Opium Le Parfum. Okay, so if you love sweet fragrances, and you want your fragrance to be loud and potent. You want to leave a beautiful scent trail. You want everybody to smell you and your sweet fragrance. C, intense, is what you need, okay? This right here is like so syrupy sweet. It is undeniably beautiful. Now, I have the C, uh, ooh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot the name. Not the acting brand new, the pink one. But y'all know the pink one that they discontinued. That one is gorgeous. Um, what is C. Fiori? Yes, C. Fiori. I have that one. Gorgeous. Love it. And I also have the original C to this one. And it's really nice. It has a lot of patchouli to my nose, but I still love that fragrance. It's more fresh. It's more green. It's perfect for spring and summer. But the intense 
<laughs> listen the intense is definitely intense of that fragrance it's very sweet it's very syrupy it's very concentrated and i love it you must love sweet fragrances because this is super sweet it lasts forever on the skin the scent trail the compliments it is a gorgeous fragrance a lot of people don't talk about it but do not let that fool you because this fragrance is everything okay very dense and sweet like i said so you must love sweet fragrances see armani intense so this next fragrance was a viral tiktok sensation i got it when it was first released because i just love these fragrances but i don't hear anybody talking about it anymore granted i'm not really on tiktok but <laughs> i still don't see it popping up on my feed on instagram or youtube and that is by narciso rodriguez and it's musk noir rose this fragrance y'all when i first got it if you watch my channel you remember that i was telling you guys that it's very light and it doesn't perform well chill oh boy did i lie <laughs> because i made the mistake and wore this to bed sometime last year and when i tell you i could not sleep i was choking because it was so intense it was so overpowering you guys already know if you wear fragrances certain fragrances are not to be worn to bed okay you can wear them beast mode fragrances out in the day in the open when you're in air amongst air okay so you can get some ventilation but in bed when you got the covers on you at night when it's so close to your skin and so close to your nose you can't wear strong fragrances and this done performed y'all this is a beautiful fragrance i mean it's always been beautiful but you already know when a fragrance doesn't perform well even though it might be beautiful you're probably not going to be calling her beautiful because you're mad right like you're mad that she doesn't perform well but when she's beautiful and she performs well she is everything she becomes like the most beautiful fragrance in the world and that is what this fragrance is to me it is so gorgeous but honestly the scent is very very beautiful so this fragrance opens up with plum there's pink pepper and bergamot, musk rose, tuberose, and vanilla. It is like a little powdery. It's feminine. It's like, it has like a little scent that may smell a little boozy, but there's no booze listed in here, but there's something that smells a little boozy in here. It is gorgeous, okay? And she's performing on my skin. I love her. Musk Noir Rose by Narciso Rodriguez. The next fragrance on the list is by Valentino and it's the original Donna Born in Roma. So you guys, I have a couple of flankers of this. I have the Coral Fantasy one and I also have the Pink Pee Pee which I love both of them. I actually didn't wear the Coral Fantasy all summer, but I do love that fragrance. So they came out with the, the gold, right? Valentino, Donna, Born and Roma, the gold. And the bottle was pretty and I bought it, but I was just like, mm, it smells like Valentino, Donna, which is this one with coconut. So I was like, should I keep it? Should I return it? A lot of you guys said keep it. A lot of you guys said return it. So I returned it guys because if I'm on the fence about something, I already know I'm not going to wear it and it's just a waste. It's going to be collecting dust and I don't want that. So I wanted to talk about this fragrance because it's the original fragrance. And just because there's a ton of flankers doesn't mean that the original is not to be talked about or to be worn. If you have the original in your collection, pull her out and wear her. This is a beautiful fruity vanilla fragrance. It's very potent. It's just a beautiful scent. And I feel like a lot of times when flankers come out, we're just searching for something different and searching for that little note that they threw in there. So it's like, oh yeah, you need this because it got a little bit of coconut or it has a little jasmine or it has a little whatever. When you have the original, that smells amazing. And honestly, if you wanted to add a little coconut to this, you can use a nest coconut oil. You can layer it with another coconut fragrance. You don't have to have every single flanker that comes out, especially if the flanker isn't all that. Like if it's I, right, then she can stay her I right self in the store, okay? So Valentino Donna Born in Roma, the original, like I said, you guys, it's a sweet, fruity vanilla fragrance. It is so intense, lasts very long on the skin, compliment getting. It is gorgeous, it is gorgeous. So I don't need the flanker, I don't miss it whatsoever because the original does it for me. And honestly, I would get another bottle of this because this definitely makes me happy in the fall time, y'all. <laughs> Valentino Donna Born in Roma, the original. 
All right, y'all, so now we have yet another flanker. I think we're just used to it at this point that we're just gonna have a whole lot of flankers, okay? We're not gonna get too many new designer fragrances at this point because they don't ordered barrels and barrels of these notes they have and they need to use them, okay? So they're gonna be making flankers for a really, really long time. So next up, we have Devotion Intense. Now, I do own the original Devotion and I love it. This one is a little different. It's not super different. It's different enough, but I still love it. And I feel like I may love it even just a little bit more than the original Devotion. The original Devotion has a lot of lemon in it. You smell lemon, you smell vanilla. It smells like a lemon gourmand dessert. This one right here, you definitely get that opening in the beginning, like you smell like honestly, if I had a blindfold on and as you, somebody sprayed a card, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference until the fragrance starts to dry down. But in the opening, it smells like the original Devotion. But this one has a hazelnut note, guys, that is very, very prominent. I never knew I liked a hazelnut note, really, until this fragrance and also Tribeca by Bond Number no. 9. So I guess I love hazelnut because these are two fragrances that when I smell the hazelnut, I get happy. So there may be lemon in here as well, but just not as much as the original. And just because it's not listed doesn't mean it's not in there. Trust me, there's tons more notes in these fragrances. But this one, y'all, if you have the original Devotion, I feel like you don't need this. If you're on a budget, you don't need it, all right? But if you're just somebody who likes to get fragrances and you boiling out of control and you just wanna buy, 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 and you're collecting, then I think you can get this because it's different enough. But if you're like, do I really need it? No, save your money for something else that's gonna be completely different. But for me, however, I needed it because I do love the hazelnut and it's definitely more intense and I feel like the original Dolce Devotion, you can wear all year round, but this one, it's intense enough that it can hold up in the colder months, in the cooler months. So Dolce Gabbana Devotion Intense. Child, we got another flanker. Let's just get this one out the way. <laughs> but there's no tea, no shade, because I absolutely love this. This is by Marc Jacobs, and this is Perfect Elixir. I have the original Perfect, I have Perfect Intense, which yes, I am excited to wear this fall, but it's gonna be featured in another video. And now we have the Elixir. But when I tell you, all three Perfects smell different to me. The first one smells like a light, airy, floral with a hint of almond. The second one, which is the Intense, smells like popcorn popped in sesame oil and this one smells like heaven like it just is what it is like oh, it smells so good you know what smells good when you got to do the shoulder roll like this smells so good this is like a date night fragrance y'all like I can definitely see myself wearing this on a date night and when it comes to designer fragrances if I say I could wear it on a date night that means the fragrance is banging okay come on now this is a sexy one Oh, this is so super sexy. So let me tell you the notes. It opens up with honey. There's plum, rhubarb, amber, orange blossom, resin, patchouli, and vanilla. And in this fragrance, I'm not gonna say that you can't smell the patchouli because I feel like the patchouli is what makes the fragrance a little bit more sexy. The patchouli and the resin. It makes it not a typical Marc Jacobs fragrance. So I don't think this one is for everybody. I think somebody that likes more grown and sexy fragrances will appreciate this. Although the bottle is so cute and very cutesy and girly and frou-frou la la, but the fragrance definitely has a little bit more depth to me. It's not super patchouli heavy. It's not super dirty or earthy or anything like that, but it definitely has more depth and I feel like you should smell it and not blind by it, okay? But for me, for me, I love it. It is so gorgeous. Marc Jacobs Perfect Elixir. Okay, guys, so the next fragrance on the list, I don't have the notes to tell you guys, but I'll leave them on the screen. This is by Donna Karen, and this is Cashmere and Palo Santo. Okay, when I tell you Donna snapped, Donna snapped, okay? Oh, this fragrance is so sexy. It's sexy, but this, and please, don't crucify me because I just have to use this word. I've been using this word forever, okay? But this fragrance is demure, all right? <laughs> 
It's a demure fragrance. It is so classy. It is so chic. It's not super loud and in your face, but it definitely has a presence. It's warm, it's creamy, it's spicy. It's so feminine, it's so beautifully done. It's not sharp and in your face like, Rrr. it's not like one of those fragrances that's jumping out at you. It's just so subdued and so beautiful and so pretty and I love it, okay? This is perfect for the fall. This can be worn on an intimate date night. Like if somebody's gonna be very, very close to you and you don't wanna choke them out, you can wear a fragrance like this. It's not a beast mode fragrance. If you spray heavy, you'll definitely get a nice scent bubble. It's not like a skin scent or anything like that. You'll definitely live in a nice, beautiful bubble. And if you spray your clothes, you can leave a nice pretty trail, but it's not one of those fragrances that's in your face. But I love that about it because the way that it smells, it's just perfection. Like it just goes with the vibe and just the mood of this very sexy, very romantic fragrance. Like I said, Donna, she snapped, okay? She snapped and I love this. And can you imagine if she came out with a deodorant that smells like this? Donna, if you are watching, we need a deodorant to this, okay? I love my cashmere mist, all right? But cashmere Palo Santo deodorant with aluminum, girl. So you guys, I have another flanker. <laughs> And this is by Prada and it's Prada Paradox Intense. I have not worn this fragrance yet. I think I sprayed it in the house maybe one time. Obviously I sprayed it because I mean, I wanted to smell it, but I haven't full body worn it, but this is so pretty. Like, honestly, I'm definitely gonna wear this fragrance this weekend. It is so pretty. It's very bright, but it still has a warmth to it, if that makes any sense. This is perfect for the fall weather because it's super sweet and intense, but it still has a bright, crisp type of scent to it. And I love that. It opens up with pear, there's neroli, bergamot, there's moss, there's neroli essence, there's jasmine, bourbon vanilla, vanilla, and amber. It's fruity, it's vanilla, it's sweet, it's intense, it's so pretty. I can't tell you guys anything about performance or anything like that, but you guys already know I overspray. Okay, I overspray, I spray my skin, I spray my clothes, I carry decants, so I'm always gonna be smelling the fragrance on me. If I ever feel like the fragrance is trying to leave, I'm pulling her right back. I'm pulling out that decant and I'm gonna spray again because I wanna smell this fragrance. But I've never tested it out. Like I said, I've never full body worn it, but I just know it smells amazing and I'm very excited to wear it this fall. Prada Paradox Intense. So this next fragrance is by the Dior Privé line. And yes, I know they have the intense versions or elixirs or whatever they're calling them, but I'm not in a rush to smell them. So we're gonna talk about Ombre Nuit, the original right now. My girl from Abbey with Love always raved about this fragrance. She actually had the really big bottle and I was like, damn, Abby, are you drinking it or are you spraying it on your skin? Because sis, that's a big bottle and you have a lot of perfume. Why does your bottle look like that? <laughs> So cut to last summer, we went to Bali and we stayed at the Four Seasons and the Four Seasons had a Dior pop-up shop. So they had a Dior cafe and just like little Dior spots that a lot of the locals would come to, the Indonesian women. And when I tell you, these women were coming in there smelling like this and I was like, wait, hold up, excuse me, what are you wearing? Um, Excuse me, what is that? And it was always ombre nui. So I'm like, you know what? Let me get this not now, but right now, because the way they were smelling rich and fancy and classy, I was like, I need to smell like this. I need to leave this trail. I need to leave this type of impression on someone because literally that was last summer and cut to fall 2024. And I'm still smelling those women. That impression is still left on me. And it's because of this gorgeous fragrance. It's not for everybody. So this fragrance has bergamot, there's grapefruit, rose, pink pepper, ambergris, cedar, guyac, wood, and patchouli. And I have to be honest, reading the notes to you guys, I know y'all are probably like, sis, what? Like, ain't no way. Ambergris, cedar wood, guyac wood, patchouli, grapefruit. Like, these are all notes that you will find in masculine fragrances. <laughs> There's no fruits listed in this fragrance. Um, well, other than the grapefruit, and we already know how grapefruit is. Like, that's definitely a more masculine smelling fruit note, citrus fruity note. Um, but yeah, there's no like juicy fruits in here, but it still smells so good. It's very regal. 
very classy, very sophisticated, very rich smelling, and I'm all about them vibes, okay? Ombre Nui by Dior. Okay, so the last fragrance on today's list is a repurchase, and I haven't used it yet this year. But this is my favorite in the house, cozy time, movie night, bedtime scent. It's by Philosophy, and it's Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. You guys, I've smelled fresh cream, and fresh cream is not for me. The warm cashmere? Oh my goodness, it's like a beautiful caramel spicy vanilla it is so pretty it's not a fragrance that's gonna last on your skin forever it's not like a beast mode fragrance it doesn't have this nuclear performance i mean it's a philosophy fragrance and to be honest with you i haven't met a philosophy fragrance that has given me that but this has like a nutty spicy creamy caramel sweet sugary vanilla vibe and when i tell you it is so beautiful this fragrance is like 40 dollars. okay you can buy it at ulta if you have ulta points you can save some money on this fragrance it is not going to break the bank but when i tell you it is the most comforting fragrance ever this is fall in a bottle fall home vibes in a bottle i've never worn this outside of the house and I'm not saying you can't because you absolutely can. It's a vanilla fragrance, like a nutty, sweet vanilla fragrance. And it's perfect to wear like in the fall or cooler months. But for me, it just has this cozy scent to it. It just has this like warm blanket wrapped up on a couch watching TV type of scent. And I love it. Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere by Philosophy. Whew. Okay guys, that was a lot of fragrances. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what designer fragrances have you been wearing this fall or are you excited to pull out and wear this fall? Let's talk about it below like we always do. Remember guys to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI The Great signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.